Well, for more on the hostage raid in Yemen, I'm joined now by Roby Barrett. He's an analyst at the Middle East, Middle East Institute. Nice to see you again, Roby. Yeah, it's good to see you. American intelligence uh, was able to, to locate these two hostages. They also were able to locate the two hostages in July who were ultimately beheaded by ISIL. This, too, is a failed attempt, as you know. Are the captors becoming more sophisticated? No, I, I think the, the issue is that how difficult a rescue attempt, first the location, and then second being able to move in a fashion, uh, in, a, in a timely fashion to be able to get them out, how difficult this is. And it requires an enormous amount of luck. In addition, I'm, I'm uh, extremely impressed with the way the operation was carried off. And, and um, not surprised at all that at the very end something could have gone wrong. These, these, uh, these operations are extremely difficult, and the slightest thing going wrong can cause them to go, uh, uh, go south. Yeah, it's, it's actually amazing that they were only 100 yards out. They had landed uh, on the Osprey. They had made their way across this terrain and, and were so close, uh, but they, they must have been located by the terrorists. Well, the... Uh, the, there's there's one account I I have no direct knowledge of this. There's one account that actually the uh, the, the uh, terrorists were were uh, were uh, uh, alarmed by barking dogs. I mean that's how that's how many things can go wrong in something like this. And, but I think it underscores that there's only one country in the world uh, that even has the potential to be able to take care of its citizens at this level and is willing to, frankly. And that's the United States. I mean, here we have 40 to 50 plus uh, special operations people on the ground. We have people in the air all risking their lives to save one American who was actually taken prisoner when he was voluntarily in Yemen. And he must have been aware of the risk that he was facing uh, as a civilian in a zone like Yemen where Americans have been targeted by groups like AQAP. What do you make of uh, the report that we just had from South Africa, our reporter there saying that U.S. intelligence uh, had revealed that the South African, Peter Corky, was, was going to be executed as well, although other reports say he was, you know, just about to be released? Well, <clears throat> I think that in a situation like this, if it's the family, particularly if it's another government which has no capability to protect their citizens like, uh, like the United States does, then you can expect them to be upset. It's only natural. Uh, whether or not he was actually going to be released or whether or not he was actually going to be uh, executed, uh, U.S. forces were there to rescue the American and the South African, too, had uh, the operation worked out better. So, I, you know, uh, it's one of those things where you're going to have a lot of Monday morning quarterbacking, a lot of people talking about what should have been and what might have been. All we know is that people were taken prisoner by AUAP, that AUAP had a long history of ex executing Westerners, that they had made specific threats about the American about executing him, and we acted to try to uh, rescue him. All righty. Roby Barrett, it's always great to see you and have you on the broadcast. Thank you so much.